the Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited cordially welcomes you to unlock your educational dreams. Hi friends, myself Bhagwan Shari. This video is brought to you by Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited, head office Coimbatore, branch office Hyderabad, Telangana. Today I am with our guest to have more questions towards study in Germany and her life in Germany. I would like to introduce her. Hi. Hello. It would be nice, like, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. This is Arshi Khan and I'm from Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, India. And I did my bachelor's in civil engineering in 2014. And I came here in Germany uh, last year, 2018. Yeah. yeah. So, can I know uh, your journey? Like, I know you, that you have came from KIT, like Karlsruhe to Hatabi resident. Like, the first most important, my question, like, how you made a decision to shift from KIT to Hatabi resident? Uh, see, I was having a very clear perspective in my mind before coming here in Germany that yeah. I want to work with some industries. Yeah. So fortunately, I uh, got admitted in KIT and yeah. it was a very renowned institute here in Germany. I think yeah. seventh in yeah. the place. Yeah. So uh, without thinking twice, I uh, came here in summer semester. Yeah. So mostly people come in winters but yeah, I, yeah. Uh, because of more yeah, opportunities. Because nice there more opportunities yeah. nice there. So I came here in summers in KIT and um, the course it was so good. Yeah. Uh, that was water sciences engineering, yeah. masters of water sciences engineering. But when I was studying over there, I uh, found that the subjects and the teaching methodology was too broad for me. That yeah. they were. Uh, making us um, study like we were doing some research okay. so that was very deep okay. so somewhere I felt that maybe this is not what I want to do because right yeah. now I don't want to do PhD yeah. if you want to work or if someone wants Want to pursue to, yeah. that's, uh, that's the best option yeah. but I was not having this in my mind that yeah. I, sh I will go for PhD yeah. whether I want to focus on some uh, industry oriented courses or curriculum so I thought that may maybe I should try some other universities. So I've been to the counseling section of KIT and okay. because I was not sure whether to uh, leave the KIT because it's a good opportunity, it was a good opportunity. Yeah. And my friends said that you should think twice before going. Yeah. So I asked the uh, counselor in KIT and they guided me that if you want to go for uh, industrial jobs, yeah. it's better option to go for Hathi. Okay. Yeah. So uh, they are primarily focused on the research based work that okay. is happening currently in, yeah. in the market. Yeah. So from uh, him I got uh, this uh, option that okay I can choose okay. STW. So you went for guidelines also in, yes, in KIT okay. and you made a choice that STW yeah. resident is the best option for you. Yes. So what was the step procedure like for shifting your credits like I, I hope you have done one semester yes, there. I did so one what was the step procedure to follow for transfer the credits and to get you admitted also transferred to Hatabi resident so can you explain in detail like what are the major steps you have done and uh, it will yeah. be helpful for me uh, yeah sure uh, it was quite uh, easy but initially I thought that I might have some problem in shifting from one university to other but it was easy I just went to the international office in KIT and I said that I want to shift from this institute but this is the thing that I did after getting my um, admitted from HTW to Okay. so being in KIT I applied for the winter semester of uh, um, HTW to yeah. environmental sciences and then I got uh, the admit, I guess, in September, yeah. August or September, I'm not sure. And then I said this thing to my international office and she said, okay, you have to fill this uh, form, which is uh, that you want to transfer, Trans you want to yeah. end your uh, studies here, ex matriculation basically. Yeah. And that was just a one day work. Yeah. They gave me an appointment and that was it. And later on, they uploaded the transcripts of my subjects that I took mm -hmm. over there. Uh, after two or three weeks yeah. in my portal. So it was just for getting the uh, admit letter and getting your transcripts to uh, the respective university. Yes. And did you undergo any other problem while registering in your book? Like now you were places to study in Dresden. Yes. So what was the process you were undergoing? Like it was very easy or like 
what this what are the steps you have to follow see there was one difficulty i should say because uh, at that time when yeah. i was in kalstor i already got my residence permit okay so in that residence permit the address and the visa was of from kid kalstor okay. so mm-hmm. i wanted to change that residence permit yeah. because when you come to any university you have to show your uh, uh, residence proof yeah. that you have a valid permit or a visa yeah. for particular university so i cannot come here in rajasthan with having a visa of kid okay so they said uh, sri dr rajasthan that you have to have a visa with rajasthan yeah but uh, when i went to kalstroy outlander beholding that seems international office over there so yeah. they said that first you have to have a uh, admission letter yeah signed by the institute okay that's why and then we will uh, allow you to go over there or then we will permit you so i was stuck in between okay. because from this side they were asking the admission letter and they were saying we will give you the admission letter signed when you will be having the residence permit okay yeah so that was quite uh, um, like then how you made the solution like because now you are in between right? <laughs> yes. you are from kit and now you are in resident like yeah. but you want the city registration done in in resident yes yeah. so that thing uh, happened in kalsu only okay so i uh, said this thing to the international national office i mailed them Yeah. and i told them about the whole scenario and yeah. then they said that uh, just ask once to the outside the whole day okay. and if they want they can talk us okay talk to yeah. talk to yeah. them like yeah, totally. yeah. so i uh, wrote a whole letter and i described everything and i gave my in english or in german in english okay yeah. so i submitted my whole application form to them and then they gave me an appointment and i went to the outside the whole day and i discussed everything then they said that okay we will cross check this thing from bresden okay. uh, authorities yeah and it took few uh, uh, weeks to be done all this procedure and then later on they said okay we will change so my address was changed in kalsuwe okay and then i came so, so now was the kalsuwe they changed the address of your bresden address yes but they said that you have to go and you have to do the city registration over okay. there So, so after yeah. changing the address there over in yes. Kalshore, yeah. then you started your process in Dresden, and it was like yeah, same. it was the same like same. the other for the other students. So now you are officially yes. like from Kalshore, you got into Hatabe. Hatabe, yes. So now I get into the course like you done your uh, civil engineering, yes, and you had your work experience. Yes. And how does your work experience helps you in your pursuing your master? See, experience always helps in every sense, and uh, fortunately, I was having experience in civil engineering, and I uh, choose environmental engineering. Yeah, of course, yeah. environmental is so, part of civil engineering. Civil engineering. Yeah. So basically, I was aware with many aspects already, yeah. with many subjects like mm-hmm. whether it is soil, water, air, groundwater, yeah. Yeah. and uh, resource management. So yeah. it's very helpful for me still, and that will that can uh, give me a base okay. in my upcoming uh, thesis work. Okay. Also. so i can choose something which i can explore with my experience yeah with the same uh, practical knowledge that i am gaining right now so can i know the choice how you made over from other uh, specializations like transportation or irrigation or structures the mini right so yeah, you made a specific choice of any road mental like can you know why you made a choice for any road mental yeah sure because i was <laughs> not interested in painting structures it was very difficult for me okay so that part was completely aside that I'm, i cannot choose this for my masters yeah uh, transportation was a good option but then again i am very much uh, you know concerned about the environment and thing that is going on right now and i yeah. want to put my uh, yeah, share okay. or my share in in this world and what yeah. can i I change. Yeah. So I chose this uh, subject, and uh, obviously you have many um, options or fields where you can go. Okay. I still can go in water treatment, sustainable development, mm-hmm. or uh, wind engineering. Yeah. Like this, so it's mm-hmm. quite open. Open. So usually, uh, many students think that the opportunities lies in only in the major specialties. There is no, to be frank, there is no major or minor, but. Preferably in civil engineering, the things that only structures, transportation, are the major broader options. Yes. But it what is the reality? Like it would be nice like if I hear from you about like what you have been here for one year and you see how your seniors or alumni or your friends how they are getting job and what are the job opportunities for any round of engineering. Okay, when uh, whenever I uh, like heard this word environment, I first 
great thing about water and everyone is aware about the water crisis that we are facing right now yep. the climate change that we are facing right now yep. so it's not a good word to say that yes it's a demand but yes yep. it's a demand so we need people who can work in this sector and make the earth beautiful and it's yep. everywhere globally yep. so i think there are a number of opportunity it just depends on a person how you are uh, like how you can help in yep. this scene Yeah. Being the same thing as your profession, yeah. so you should have some qualities, or you should have some aspects that can help you to get a job in the yeah. field, which is good for. It all lies in your passion and your talent to make yes. a mark. Uh, yeah, passion and talent both. Yeah, you can say. because the opportunities also are open, and it lies not only in Germany; it's mm-hmm. all over the it's world. It's all over the world, so But you are not restricted to a particular place. Yeah. As we have been discussing with Ashifan about her experience in Germany, I would like to end this session. And further questions can be continued in the next session. Thank you. You can register with us through our portal. So join us and be at the pinnacle of education through the best service provider. We keep your data protected, and we are determined to connect the world to Germany. with our amicable assistance for further details visit us at www.unimap.in